thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video. Obviously, if you enjoyed it, you felt it was useful. Now, let's get into this. So, FA Ajagba, he stops Razvan Kajanu in the ninth round. Um, Kajanu, I think this is the first time he's ever not been stopped in the second. He normally goes out in the second. Kajanu took, or not Kajanu, uh, Ajagba took his time in this fight. He was definitely in control. There was a few moments in this fight where Kajanu stood his ground and traded. and had a little bit of success in there against FA Ajagba. FA Ajagba would throw his one to us. They'd be blocked by Rajvan Kajanu. And what Ajagba would do is he'd stay in the pocket. He would just throw a shot. He wouldn't move. And he'd just stay very upright, very stationary. So he got tagged with a couple of little shots here and there. But for the most part, it was all FA Ajagba. He just did what he needed to do. This was Ajagba's first fight since he fought that journeyman. And I remember that fight because I couldn't believe what I was saying. Ajagba fought that journeyman there back before Christmas. And he hurt him bad, rocked him, was on the verge of stopping him. And then inexplicably, I can't remember the journeyman's name, he just threw a little nut in right hand and put Ajagba down. So you wanted to see how Ajagba's chin would hold up because Kajani was not a devastating puncher, but still, he's a very, very big man. He's six foot, what, six foot eight, 160 odd pounds. Very big man. Someone like that lands on you you're going to be in trouble um chin held up fine for jag but you know again he wasn't really hit that much in this fight you know you got a few shots in there but for the most part it was all fa jag but rajvan kajanu rajvan kajanu definitely against if you're looking for comparison against other prospects definitely he did better against kajanu a jag but did anyway then nathan gorman did nathan gorman went 12 rounds with rajvan kajanu and rajvan kajanu people say he was negative in that fight he wasn't that negative and then obviously we know Daniel Dubois <coughs> walked straight through him, just ragdolled him, belugging him up again the ropes, walked straight through him. Daniel Dubois showing his physicality, his strength. We know that a jag was probably not as strong as Daniel Dubois. In fact, I pretty much guarantee he's probably not as strong as Daniel Dubois. Maybe he doesn't have the punching power, even though a jag was not feather fisted. Maybe he doesn't have the devastating, just natural concussive heavy handed power of Daniel Dubois. But he still has enough power in there. For the remainder of this fight, he just done what he was doing. In the eighth round, he landed a couple of shots. They weren't anything major, but it was enough to send Kajanu down to the ground. He just took a knee, and then in the ninth round, his eye was smashed up. His face was bloodied. His face was bashed up. He just took another knee, and the referee waved it off. That was it. Kajanu just took enough. You know, he took a beating for nine rounds, and you know, enough was enough. So that's really my thoughts on this. Again, there's not a lot to really talk about with this fight. Um. I don't know what the plan is for FA Jag moving forward. You know, with regards to who they're going to put him in there with next. You know, PBC are running, they're running short on heavyweights. Would they look at, and I say risk because, you know, I think FA Jag still needs some work. Would they look at putting him in there with somebody like a Charles Martin or someone like that? Possibly, you know, possibly. But, you know, it's an interesting one. You know, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, of course, if you are new. And as always, I will talk to you after.